Hey guys, Sandra here. Um, I'm at work again, and it's Wednesday, so I thought I'd do what I eat Wednesday. So, um, this morning, I don't believe I drank quite enough water. I'm trying, but I'm finding, um, I just feel like less a little bit lately. Maybe because it's getting colder. Um, so, but I am tucking into my apple pie in a glass. I just can't seem to get enough of this. I absolutely love it, so I got two of them. Um, and then a couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, this morning I have my appointment finally to have a specialist look at this thing here, wherever it is. This, I think it's a halo mole, but we'll find out. I'm sure it's fine, but why not just be on the safe side? And then the second thing is something that's been really bothering me, especially since Friday. And that is, I mentioned recently about how my job has changed 360 degrees. Well, I've been put into uh, somebody else's job now, doing their stuff, and one of the uh, responsibilities that was hers was to order food for the company for any functions or events. And I just knew there's no way, no way on God's green earth that I can do that um, because I just won't order animals. I, I will not participate in that in the least. But I was really, really nervous about how that was going to go over at work. Um, so I kind of fretted over it all weekend. I'm a, I'm a very good fretter. And, but I did talk to my human resources on Monday. And I just felt like they, they didn't understand. Not at all. Like, they just kind of laughed a little bit. Um, so that made me really nervous to talk to my actual boss, who's a little less a lot less approachable. <laughs> but I went in yesterday at the end of the day, I waited all day, took a deep breath and then I walked in and explained the situation to him in uh, the best manner that I could without getting, you know, any emotional or any of that. And uh, it went really well. I was, I came out of there and I could have like cried. I was so teared up. That's how important this is to me. I just got so worked up over it. But I, it, was, it was such a relief that I just felt like a little misty-eyed. Anyway, he said he totally understood and that um, he wouldn't want to put me in a position that I felt, um, I forget, I think he said uncomfortable with. So anyway, that was very good news, very relieving. And so I don't have to be all worked up, but I'm glad I went in. Doesn't always work out that way, but this time it did. Anyway, so. I'll see you at the next meal. Okay, so for my lunch, I'm gonna have three um, medjool dates, four frozen strawberries, they're just uh, small ones, and 800 grams of bananas. Okay guys, so this is my smoothie all blended up. I'm not gonna tip it too much, but <laughs> lightly pink. And very tasty. And I just thought I'd let you guys know <laughs> the results of my doctor's appointment. This thing here is a halo mole. And it's perfectly benign and no problems. No, no cancer, no precancer. So, so that's all good. So we'll um, see. I'm just heading home now, but I have to stop off and get a stone chip fixed in my car here. Just a tiny little one, but it's going to take a little while. And I'm drinking this green concoction here. It's actually not very green, it just looks it. But it's um, some grapes, two oranges. I'm not sure how many grapes because I didn't uh, weigh it, but I would say maybe 250 grams. Anyway, and two oranges and 25 grams of spinach. tell what it looks like but there yeah, that's better <laughs> it tastes really good anyway so I've got this one and one more to drink before making supper hey guys see home. I'm home now and so I'm making supper which tonight is just uh, finishing off what I started yesterday I actually started making chili last night and and just a little bit into it our hydro went out for three hours so couldn't finish it, so I'm doing that now. And I'll just show you what it looks like. I 
looking like that. I've got a little bit of chili dust on top. It's cooking away. I've got, I put a ton of vegetables in it. Um, I got celery, corn, green and yellow peppers. Uh, what else did I put in there? Mushrooms, onions. I got two cans of red kidney beans, one can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Lots of dust, so it should be good. And then to put under it, I've got these diced potatoes. That's all that's in here. No fat, no sodium, other than what was in the potatoes. So I get these from one of our local wholesale stores. I'm so lucky that we have it. So it's just going to be hash browns to put under the chili. And I'll just brown them up on the stove. Okay, so here's my hash browns all warmed up and browned up. Okay. And here's our chili all done. So I'll just put that on top of the hash browns. Okay, so it's all done. here's my meal. Perfect. So I hope you guys are having also an equally lovely meal. Hope you guys had a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so it's lunchtime, uh, which I just showed you.